Welcome back to Outer Wilds. Time's a ticking. Let's get going. Last time, we spent quite a bit of time exploring Brittle Hollow, and I think we explored and found a lot of really interesting things. But, since I do want to go to all the planets before we really dig into one particular planet, I think we should move on today. Why don't we check out what we can read here? Rebeck's camp. Rebeck has set up camp on the bottom of the crossroads. Their excitement at being surrounded by so much Nomai history is matched only by their terror of the black hole. They are Timberheart's only archaeologists. They overcame their fear of space to explore Brittle Hollow's treasure trove of Nomai culture. Everyone says that, but I feel like everyone just sits around. I'm the only one who's actually doing anything here. To be fair, maybe it's because everybody only has 20 minutes. Yeah, we're really only seeing 20 minutes of everyone's lives, so... <laughs> ah, the Southern Observatory. We already know how to get there. The trailhead starts at Brittle Hollow's equator. I'm pretty sure I know how to get there from the quantum... the Tower of Quantum Knowledge. Last time, I ran out of time, plus I fell into the black hole, but if I don't do these things, I think I can get there. Ocean Current Discovery. We know that we can figure out how to get under the current at the observatory. Yup. Yeah. Construction yard. Ocean depths. The Hanging City. Yeah, the Nomai decided to immigrate or migrate from the old settlement to the northern glacier. There's a huge Nomai city just to the north of Rebek's campsite. Did we see this properly? I remember seeing the sign, but uh... Did we see that properly? We didn't finish looking at the old settlement just yet. Surprisingly... Oh, here we go. Tower of Quantum Knowledge. You would think it's in the same place as the other stuff, the other quantum stuff, but probably because it's always moving around, like it's on Brittle Hollow. How do we get in there though? Preliminarily, I think maybe we can try flying the ship up there, but that seems a bit unlikely because the structural integrity of the ground was 1%. And I don't think I can get the ship down there anyway. There is a quantum signal somewhere on Giant's Deep. And there's one somewhere on Timber Hearth. Maybe that's the rock in the museum? Or it could be something else. Okay, well, so many mysteries. Where do we start? Why don't we set a waypoint? Oh, we never even figured out how to get on Hollow's Lantern. I assume you can because it's blacked out right now or um, it's hollowed out. But it's so fiery. How do we get on? But today, let's try going to Dark Bramble. If we want to go to Dark Bramble, we can't set a waypoint because we haven't been there yet. But, but... I do want to set a waypoint on Dark Bramble Seed. Yeah. Because what I want to do is I want to launch my scout into the seed again and then go to Dark Bramble. Just to see where it really leads, right? Well, yes, yes, very important. We gotta suit up. Let's not make that mistake again. Generally though, I feel like it's a pretty good way to explore just by like looking around on the surface of a planet as opposed to landing right away. Because you can see so much better if you do this. Oh god. Hold on. Oh, 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 not doing too hot here. You know what? Works fine for me. <laughs> hey, tech tight. Did you discover anything new? No, nothing new. Do you think it's extraterrestrial? Uh, who's to say what's really extraterrestrial? I feel like we're kind of extraterrestrial too. All right. Error duplicate signal. Right, because it's... yeah, it's in both places at the same time. Oh my god! What's it going through? I don't know! Do I want to know? 
I'm still looking at it as I'm trying to go to Dark Bramble right now. I think it stopped. Yeah, I'm taking pictures, but I'm not really... It got caught somewhere. Might not be a bad thing because we don't want to find it too far away from where we shot it. Is that the interloper? Wait, is it chasing a star? What's going on here? Oh, we'll save that for another loop. The interloper is a bit of a mystery because how do we latch onto it? It feels like it's too... Is that the white hole? I don't know. Anyway, it's a bit of a mystery to me because I feel like... How do we land? It's so fast. Uh, just looking at this on the outside, it's like, okay, a bunch of roots and trees and stuff. I guess we just try landing then. Inside? Inside the little area? Can we do this? Are we gonna be okay? Oh my god, this is scary. I'm just kind of hoping that we run into something so we can... Wait, what? Whoa. Huh? Oh. What are those lights? Holy god, this is scary. Let's try heading towards the scout. The heck is that? Feldspar? Really curious about this though. Uh, maybe a different frequency? Nothing. Okay, focus on the signal for now. The heck is going on inside here? A lot of little points of... Whoa! What? Oh, there must be like multiple teleportation points or something. What? Oh my god. My little... My little Harthian brain's trying to process this right now. I don't... Um... I'm a little bit scared to get out of my ship to explore because this place is just... I think this might be the creepiest place we've seen so far. But it says it's 800 meters away. What? Let's check out another duplicate signal. Hold on. Wait, there's one that's like one kilometer away? What the heck? Well, the color is changing here. What? What the heck? Why is there two signals right on top of each other? Are we even still in Dark Ramble right now? Like, where am I? Oh! Oh my god! Please, Feldspar, are you here? Feldspar! Feldspar's camp? Hold on, I gotta, like, park this properly. Don't try to be hasty, okay? Let's just take it slow. I say as I freaking ram my ship into this little tiny area. Okay, maybe I can park it above, on the shell or something. What the heck is- Wait, if I park it on the shell, can I even climb back up onto it later on? 
a process, okay? I'm a little bit worried though because looking at the camp, I don't see a... Someone sitting on a bench there? Oh, here's good. Here's good. Good enough? Good enough. Probably. Hopefully. What's the gravity like? Oh, it's really high up though and I'm floating away. You know what, let's take a little bit more time to do this properly. We're, we're trying to explore, but we have to be safe and, you know, all those good things about it too. This is good. feldsvar has got a... one of that rock shards. Here we go! Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay, gravity is zero... zero, zero. We have to avoid... Which means I can probably float out a little bit. Feld please be Feldspar. Feldspar! Whoa! Where'd you come from? No one's come here in... well, ever actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. The last we know of Feldspar is that he was gonna go to Giant's Deep. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut? And you haven't blown yourself up yet. Good for you. Feldspar, you're alive! You never were the brightest hashling, were you? I'm just happy! Yeah, that's right. I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed. Violently. You crashed? But you're the greatest pilot in Harthian history! I haven't lived in polite society for a while, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that wasn't sarcasm. What? No! You're Feldspar Armstrong! I look up to you! My story goes like this. I had just finished exploring the core of Giant Steep, and I wanted to try my hand at Dark Bramble, seeing as no one had ever been here before. Getting around in Dark Bramble was easy, mind you. Once you've dodged one massive interdimensional vine, bristling with thorns, you've dodged them all. But after a while, I run into this huge anglerfish, you seen them? Big gnarly things, and this was the biggest one I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off, nothing to fancy. I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me into a vine, and... Well, like I said, I crash, blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside, and I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electrical system starts sparking like crazy. It's either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. Well, thank god you found a place with trees. I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found a skeleton later. Great find, would have been stupid to not use it. Use? So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Oh! Do I get emergency tree seeds? That would be nice. This sounds kind of mean. <laughs> wow. Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. Story's over, but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire a bit. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. Anything else you wanted? Yeah, a lot of things I want from you, actually. <laughs> uh, you reached the core of Giant's Deep. How'd you do it? Giant's Deep's core, huh? Ah, that was a wild one. But since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, kinda feels like cheating. I didn't think it would be that easy. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big hollow vine my ship crashed into. Yup. Oh... There must be a teleportation thing at the core of Giant's Deep. Which is probably what we should be expecting once we get past the current. Which you're not gonna tell me how to do. Because I'm gonna figure it out at the Southern Observatory. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. You'll want to go to the tail end of this anglerfish skeleton here. Oh, that's what this is! And look for a flickering light in the fog. That'll be my old ship. Path starts there. That's gigantic anglerfish. Oh my god. 
Hey, hatchling! Pull up a marshmallow stick. Come to hear tales of my heroic exploits, have you? What happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. As near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on the vine and eaten the seed. And then the seed grew and grew in the poor fish's stomach until... This happened. Gross, huh? Oh, poor thing. Wait, but that means there's anglerfishes here, right? Is that why we've been seeing so many little spots of light? The skeleton here was a good find. The light keeps the fish away, you know. See, they're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. What about me, though? Aren't they gonna be angry at me? Shouldn't I tell ground control to come get you? Well, yeah, sure. Whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kinda like it out here. Quiet, peaceful-ish. I guess it's a little too dangerous, but uh, we've sent scouters into the seed on timber hearth. But we could just go in ourselves, right? Theoretically. And find Feldspar on the other end. You're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure, being the best that ever was. <laughs> Been nice to have a break. Where is your ship that I already know the whereabouts of? Not far from here, as a matter of fact. If you go straight past the tail of this anglerfish skeleton here, you'll see a flickering light in the fog. On foot? Follow that, and you'll find my old ship. What's left of it, anyway. Where should I explore here? This is a great question, because as far as I can see, it's fog on all four sides. That's a spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should know that space is weird here, intensely. Ever tried throwing your probe into one of these weird seeds? See there, with a the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your probe tracker will tell you the probe is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong, exactly. Because space doesn't work right in here. That seed looks small, see? But inside, it's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is space and dark bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seeds. Well, that's my theory. Keep that in mind while you're exploring Dark Bramble, and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck. Hmm, I think it'll be very important for us to, um... Keep a scout somewhere. Was that it? Okay, I don't think I found anything just yet. Oh! I found a dark bramble seed on Timber Hearth. That's bad business, Hatchling. As Trit will tell you if you so much as glance in dark bramble's direction, there used to be a fifth planet where bramble is now. Oh! This infernal planet appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered its pieces across space. If we don't get that seed you found sorted real quick-like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading towards the same fate. And I tell you what, we Harthians have overcome far too much to be done in by some worthless seed. Ooh. I'll have some fuel, if that's okay. Mmm, I think this might be my least favorite planet yet. Least favorite because I'm really scared here. I feel like I'm more scared here than I was at Brittle Hollow. I feel like that's saying something, because that place had a freaking black hole. Whoa, gravity's weird again. Okay, so this- this is a freaking anglerfish. The light's still working somehow. I don't really want to explore without my ship, though. This place is way too scary. There's my actual scout. But inside there... Um... Okay, so we see where our scout is. Do we want to try the reverse then? Maybe I'll just take it back. And then I'll throw... Oh, I thought that was my scout! Are you kidding me? My ship? But there's nothing... Is it the light? The anglerfish's light? 
What in the world? Oh my god! <sighs> my mind! See, it came out that way. Oh, I'm entirely uncomfortable with this. What's that sound? Okay, well, uh, instead of just sitting around, we should probably- What the heck? Why is the scout back there again? What? But my ship is over here- <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's great. Um... Yeah. Sure. How do I take away the picture? I don't want to take away the scout. I just want to take away the picture, that's all. But uh, apparently I can just do this. And... Okay, let's just wait. Let's just wait and see what happens here. Okay, that flickering light is really big. What? Was that? What is going on there? I know Feldspar said we could follow his ship or something, but uh, you know what? I don't- let's just look around normally. Oh, I'm glad to hear he's alive though. Feldspar's camp. He doesn't sound overly eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying the place here. Feldspar doesn't think my scout tracker is wrong when it says my scout is in two places at once. They have a theory that space doesn't work the same inside Dark Bramble. Just a theory. A secret to reaching the core of Giant's Deep lies at the end of the hollow vine they crashed their ship into. To find Feldspar's ship, I'll want to go to the tail end of the anglerfish skeleton and look for a flickering light in the fog. Oh, is that the gigantic one that we just saw? Well, let's go there with our ship. I don't really want to go anywhere without my ship right now because this place is just too... weird. Oh god, look at this. Skeleton and... There's a freaking gigantic vine flowing out of it. That flickering light? Oh god. Oh my god. Is that noise just... I don't know what that noise is. Mm hmm? Mm hmm? Oh god, okay, should I get out of my ship? Oh my god. Oh my god, okay. Look, it seems like my scout doesn't even have to be through a particular thing though, because I just landed it there, and it still says it's duplicated somewhere else. Oh, come on, why can't my ship fit through? Oh! Whoa! Whoa! Where... where are we? This might not be... Uh, if we look at the map, we are on the north-south pole of somewhere. No, we are not on Dark Bramble anymore, are we? What? <gasps> oh, this has to be Giant Steep. It's this thing again. Trip 4, entry something. I'm gonna say not 1. Crashes 3, boring crashes 0. Whoa-ho! Never thought I'd see one of those beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too? Blah! This thing tastes terrible! The outside is all rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it insulates the jellyfish's insides from getting zapped by electricity? Right, I'm going inside of this jellyfish's interior cavity to see if what's in there tastes any better. What? Who the heck is eating the- 
Jonas! Yeah, look, it says Dark Bramble 20 kilometers away. Can we touch this? Do oh, I mean, I feel like as a researcher. Whoa, you can see the inside. As a researcher, we should be very careful about interacting with objects we don't understand. But we have, in a way, in a sense, immortality. So maybe we shouldn't be that chicken. But I can't... Oh! My god. Note to Feldspar. Do not eat this even if you are dying. It would be too sad if this were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not eat. Love, Feldspar. Insulation from electricity? Is that a hint? But I can't take a chunk of it with me. And it's Feldspar. Makes sense, because he's the one who led us to this place. Okay, well... Let's be a little bit mindful of our... Oxygen and all that good stuff. Is that the end of the path, though, or...? I feel like at least this way, there's not really... Too much more. It freaks me out how everything is kind of semi-translucent. My ship is- OH SHOOT! Oh, we might just go back to Dark Ramble. Which I guess might be okay. It's not the worst thing that could happen. Oh no no, we're still in Dark Ramble, it's just that this place is... ...scary and I'm now without my ship. Okay, that's cool. No, I want my ship back. That red signal. We are getting a little low on oxygen. We're at half right now. We should definitely go back first if we can. <sighs> that never ceases to scare me the moment we see it. You come in the seed, and there's three! Three! Not one or two, but three. Three duplicate signals. I should try the thing again with throwing my scout in the seat, cause... How did it fly back? I don't even understand. Oh. Oh shoot, which one is the one with, um... Was it that one? Where Feldspar was? Okay, we have to be careful with the fuel. How are we doing on time? I don't know, we spent a lot of time talking and looking at logs, but I feel like we're getting close to the end here, though. We're about 30 minutes in. If I can get my ship and just fly around, maybe to where that red signal was, I would be happy. Oh, we're back here. Yeah, sure, my ship is over there. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, Feldspar. Right, so my ship is apparently... Oh, I did fly my ship over there. I forgot. <laughs> it's not here anymore. Oh, my, my suit can match velocity with things, too. That's good to know. But not what I need right now. Hey, what happened to Feldspar's ship? Somehow you came inside. Can we fix this for him? I don't think so, and he doesn't seem to want it fixed anyway. Okay, I'm back, buddy. Oh! Let me live. We learned from Felspar that apparently this place is spreading. The seeds are just... spreading. Not that we really have to worry about... <sighs> Timberheart getting eaten up by the seed though, because... The supernovas happened before that. Frozen jellyfish. Felspar documented their attempts to eat this thing, frozen in the ice. So the thing that we saw on Giant Steep must also be... 
a jellyfish. Jellyfish are useful for insulation from electricity. We didn't find... Oh, wait. Are they trying to hint to me that if I go back to that island with a jellyfish on Giant Steep, that's a way to get to the core of Giant Steep? I'm not sure because we really didn't explore this area too much yet. All we saw was a jellyfish and then we fell off. Well, I'm guessing we don't have too much time, but we can just recklessly fly around for a bit. The red signal would probably- uh! Oh. A little bit reckless here. The landing spot. Oh, the electrical systems, my goodness. Are we all good? Oh, the landing gear. But you know what? We're probably okay for now. <laughs> we'll figure that out some other time. Can we just get out through this hole? Yes. That's the gigantic light where Feldspar is, I think. How can you see anything? Oh, we should probably launch this thing or... Oh god. No matter how we launch this thing, where we launch this thing, it's just... weird. Oh, I don't like it. When that happens, probably means we've teleported somewhere. Oh, let's go towards this. Oh. Did I just hear the supernova? I didn't need to wait for the supernova. What the heck? Were they guarding the red thing? What was that? They cracked the glass on my windshield. What in the world? Oh, this is just too oh. insane. This is way too insane. We gotta keep going. I guess this time, I'll just focus on wandering around Dark Bramble. What do we do about the anglerfish, though? Can Feldspar teach me how to deal with the anglerfish? We saw one in the museum, but I don't remember it saying anything in particular. Yeah. At least now this is... It's only called Dark Bramble now because the original planet isn't really there anymore. The blue stuff? That's the original planet, right? But the seed kind of took over. That's scary. Okay, I'll put a thing on Feldspar's camp. But really, we're just gonna go back and wander around. And maybe find a way to get into the red area. Do we have to lure them out of the place first? Because they pretty much freaked out as soon as I came in. Oh wow, we didn't even have to launch a thing into the seed. It's already duplicated. Battle rock. There's some stuff rotating around the sun. Yeah, we should probably get around to checking that out too. Scary. It's gonna be like landing on the probe, except 20 times harder. <laughs> Is that... The interloper? There's like a bright light there. I wonder if that's a white hole or something else entirely. Here we go.
I want to say, should we look on the surface of Dark Bramble at all? Like, yeah, we can do that. We can look at it from here. But it's pretty much just a broken planet, right? A shell. It looks like it's so small, but the inside is... Massive. Yeah, I don't think there's too much outside, so let's just try to um, get back inside. You don't have a moon. Good thing or bad thing, I don't know, but you don't have a moon. Okay. I don't have any weapons on my ship. Okay, that's- we're going a little fast here. We come in here, there are three spots of light that eventually disappear, but the red one, it's very obviously beckoning me. I'm just scared though, because if I try to go back now, the same thing's gonna happen, right? Oh, what? Oh! <laughs> It didn't even come from inside. There was one outside already. Hmm. Do you think it's worth going to the museum just to see uh. if we can learn more about the anglerfish there? Because that's the only place where I know how to learn more. Or maybe we should ask... You know, maybe we should ask Feldspar about it. Dang, man. How's everyone doing here anyway? Wow, it's weird to be on normal gravity. Hey, everybody. I haven't talked to anybody again, but does anybody say anything different? Just saying hi before I leave. Thank you. The kids still want to play hide and seek. I think the first time when I was going through this, I might have missed a small station. I missed a station where I could play with a scouter, right here. I went to that one, but I didn't go here. But it doesn't really matter now because... Oh. I saw smoke coming from Young Bar Crater up north and figured I should go check it out. You can use a scout launcher, just please don't break it while I'm gone. Right. It's kind of useless now because we're pretty good with the scout launcher. <laughs> That's nice. Yeah. Anyway, I came here because I need to learn about the anglerfish. How do we deal with it? Northwest Geyser Mountains. We gotta go back in the geyser sometime too. Young Bark Crater. No My Ruins. Oh, the mines? Quantum Grove Crater. That sounds like a place we should visit. Anyway, though. Yeah, it doesn't look good. No, it doesn't. The observatory is over there. Feels like it's been forever since we've walked around this place normally. Oh. Tell me more about Feldspar. Oh, I can't tell everybody that he's alive because he doesn't want to come back. And one day, Feldspar just didn't come back. It's been a long time since they left. Oh! Oh, we can use the translator Oh my god, that symbol! That's the eye of the universe. Kasava, we're nearly ready! Felix and I have finished construction, and she says calibrating the device won't take long. Fortunately, the Adel Rock's lack of atmosphere will make calibration simple. 
After all this time, I'm thrilled to finally resume our search. Yeah. I think these were meant as tutorials, but we just didn't use them. <laughs> this is so misleading! It's so small compared to the ones we see at Dark Bramble. What the heck? It was found attached to the landing gear of one of our ships that flew close to Dark Bramble. It appears well suited to living in dark places with minimal atmosphere. It doesn't actually say anything. How do we deal with this? Do we just run away? I don't know. I really- no. I really don't know. Well, we wasted a little bit of time looking around today. Do we want to go back to Dark Bramble? Probably still worth it. Because I assume we're gonna get eaten by an anglerfish before we find anything anyway. It actually makes me wonder, how the heck were we able to find Feldspar without getting eaten the first time around? I felt like we wandered so far with nothing happening to us. And then suddenly, the moment I went back, it's like, Arm! I got eaten. Hornfells, can I uh, get some reinforced shields for my ship, please? Dear goodness. Or maybe today, how about, hmm, if we can, do we want to try checking out the interloper right there? We can just look at it. I want to continue looking at Dark Bramble, but I'm just at a loss right now because I'm not too sure how we can... Is it afraid of light? Or what? Do you, like, go into the sun or what? Yeah, look at that thing over there. We gotta get there sometime, too. Can we even go as fast as this thing? It's so fast. Undershot target. Oh, I think it's because the autopilot works well when you're going to a stationary place. But it's moving really dang fast and we're gonna crash. We're gonna crash. Like really badly. Oh! What even? It's like a ball of ice. Can I land? Will this be secure? It doesn't feel very secure. My ship is sorta... Of... If we fall off the rock though, I have a feeling we won't be able to catch up. Any signals around here? Oh. Whoops. Hey! Hey, hey, hey! It's Rebic. I think we know about everybody in the system already, right? In terms of our friends. Distress beacon. Escape pod one. Doesn't seem like there's any signals here. The gravity is 0 0.3. We can go towards the North Pole. Purely by walking, I don't think we should be using the fuel here. It's a little bit rocky. But I think we'll be okay. Whoa! Whoa, it suddenly went super speed because gravity is now zero. Is this a trail coming off of it? Like a gassy trail? That's the white hole. It's gotta be the white hole. I wanna be in my ship. I don't wanna walk on foot. But we have to be on foot, right? Because otherwise... 
Okay, this is the tail. This is the tail of the interloper. If we go off of it, are we gonna be okay? Oh! Oh! What the heck is this? Gravity 4, 0 0.4. Clary, this is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle in ice. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may freeze entirely. Uh oh, my ship! <laughs> Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Suppose one of us remain in the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. That would be wise, I think, Clary. If you don't mind waiting here with it, Pokey and I can continue to investigate the surface. This is a shuttle? It looks kind of like it's frozen already. Like, entirely? <laughs> I'm a little scared, because I always feel like if we use fuel here, are we not gonna, like, fly off the interloper and that'll just be that? I don't see a way to enter it, though. It's... It's frozen! The Nomai are extinct! That's what this means. But they said... Wait, somebody... Oh my god, there might be, like, a Nomai skeleton inside. Lord, is there any more? No. I'm looking at you! Don't see a way to... Oh my goodness. I always thought the this comet here was... Hold on. Ho, ho, ho. I always thought these trails were like gas, but it's ice. Okay, I don't know what to do with you for now, but I'm gonna try to go back to my ship or go to the South Pole. Oh, oh no, oh no. They used the wrong kind of fuel. Yeah, there is some kind of gas. Some kind of gas trailing out. Fuel running low, oxygen running low. That... I have no idea what that is. Yeah, that cluster of star looks a little bit strange. Something's going on there. Whoa! At least my ship isn't frozen. That's something to be happy about. No, oh, I'm looking for the oxygen and fuel. Lunar Ruins! Frozen Nomai Shuttle, Gravity Cannon. Oh, it's another branch. There's more. See, it's frozen though, but how do we get in? Maybe there is a hidden entrance somewhere else, but it's a shuttle, it's not ruins. So, I kind of feel like what we see is what we'll get, but hmm. The other two explored. We should go to the South Pole. The Nomai shuttle that's frozen on the interloper can be called home to the gravity cannon on Ember Twin. Oh, that's probably how we open it. Because on Ember Twin, it's gonna be super hot and it's gonna melt, right? Okay, gravity cannon. I feel like we've heard this word on Brittle Hollow too. Makes sense, because they're all really interconnected. Okay. Uh, do we want to try walking some more? I want to walk to the South Pole here. What the heck is that sound? I don't know. There are supposed to be two other Nomai exploring around here, so with any luck, we could find some trails. Wait, wait, wait we're back here again? How the heck did we end up back here again? I was trying to go to the South Pole. 
It's hard though because there's all these like ice icicles sticking out. And I'm walking like super fast now, trying to use my fuel to stay grounded here. It doesn't seem like there's too much here though, because it's not actually a planet. It's more a it's a comet. It's icy rock that's for some reason flying super fast around the sun. Can we really not find any traces of the other Nomai though? There are supposed to be two more here. We're at the equator right now. Very soon we'll be going back to the shuttle again. <laughs> the sound is we're near the sun we're melt wait we're near the sun how near how near are we talking about here just scraping past right oh now would be a good time to go to the ha ha now would be a good time to go to the shuttle if we can make it back there in time because it's not like you'll freeze again as soon as we leave the sun's area right Maybe? No, no, it's freezing again. No! <laughs> Dang. Okay, so for future reference, all we- Maybe all we gotta do is just stick around the shuttle and wait for it to unfreeze. But not this time, though. Not this time. Maybe that's not it, though, because that- Oh. I don't know. I don't know. We could stick around a little bit more, hope for it to melt again, but I don't think that's gonna happen in a short amount of time. So I'm probably just gonna... Um, unless if you're going to the sun right now? Wait, why is my ship- Oh my god, my ship is on the sun! <laughs> um... I guess we're staying here today. <laughs> I really don't think there was too much else on the Enderloper, though. At least I don't see it. That's... Okay, if we're gonna be here, let's at least stay next to the um, ship. Which is around here. We have limited fuel and oxygen, so don't worry. We're probably gonna die. But if you do go near the sun again, I would be ready for the melting. Or so I like to think. Can you walk there, please? No, we're getting further and further away from the sun. Look at my ship. It's 2.1 kilometers now. I don't think it'll unfreeze again. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I do wonder, though. That melting, I feel like, does something. Maybe we can see something because of the melting? I want to say it's this, but is it? Curiously, this ship still seems like it's powered on, because it's got some lighting and stuff. Maybe I should just dedicate one trip to... <laughs> to just staying on the interloper and waiting for it to melt. A bit silly, but I feel like that would be worth it. Hey, look, my ship is three kilometers away now. almost feel like I should be looking for a way to off myself. Because there's not too much else we can do. Well, we can look at the scenery or something. Or we can just exhaust all of our fuel and end up using the oxygen. Yeah, the whole thing is encased in ice, but if the ice melts... Then we can probably see where the entrance is properly. I'm guessing it would be on the bottom section here? Who really knows? Okay, take me. The sweet embrace of death. I'm ready. At least I'll go out like a fire. I'll ascend. 
and look around. This is the tail end. We didn't see the other two Nomai though, so I wonder what happened with them. Oh, what a sad ending. We didn't even see skeletons. But judging by how fast this thing is moving by, maybe the skeletons just moved off. Much like my ship. <laughs> sad, sad, sad. Well, we're learning new things every time, so we shouldn't be sad. <laughs> <laughs>